I got a rather quick one for you today. It's so quick, in fact, and relatively easy that I'm going to do this all in one take. So no editing, no uh, cutting out ums and so's and whatever else. Um, you're going to see it all, hear it all, including if I screw it up and have to fix it. Uh, I'm going to plug this tire. It's got a small nail in it and it leaks a few pounds a week. It's not a big leak. It's, uh, it leaks rather slowly, but it is kind of annoying. And eventually it'll leak worse. We're about to head on a big long road trip to Michigan. It's about 1200, 1300 miles each way. Plus whatever driving we do while we're up there. And I really don't want to do that with a leaky tire and have to deal with if something happens, I'm going to deal with this on the side of the road. So I'm going to plug this tire and um, show you how easy this is to do. I'm going to do with this kit here this from Slime. It's a fairly popular kit. You can get it pretty much anywhere, any of the big box part stores, Amazon, whatever. I'll put a link down below to it. And it's a fairly simple process. This is already opened here, but this is, you get a couple pieces of hardware, some glue, and your plug. So think of it like kind of like thread, I guess. And this is a needle. So this is going to be your sticky, super sticky plug material. You're going to feed it into this pop it through the hole and then pull this back out. If you look at the end of this prod needle poker thingy, there's a, this is separated at the end. If you see it like this and you think you got a broken one, you didn't, that's on purpose. You're going to push this through, we're going to feed this through this and you're going to push it through the hole and then we're going to yank this back out and this will pop through that hole and stay inside. And when you pull it, it kind of bunches up and flattens out on the inside of the tire and plugs that hole. So we'll get material out here. This is super sticky and I kind of wish I had put gloves on now because then I'll have a hard time getting this crap off my fingers. But live demo, right? Can't stop now. We're going to keep going. Feed this through about, you know, to halfway. Ugh. Come on. This can be hard to get in there. But it will go. If you don't, like, let me get you a better angle here. So you're even gonna see the camera change. So don't get sick on me. Up, angle you back down so you can see the tire good. There's the nail. In this case, the nail is pretty obvious, but it isn't always. Sometimes even like after a while, you'll grind that head off driving on it and it'll just be the, the nail itself. And it'll be hard to see. So if you can't find it, you can squirt some soapy water on it. See how it bubbles? It's the air coming out, makes bubbles in the soap. And I'll tell you where your leak is. So we want to do this with air in the tire. At least I do it with air in the tire because that helps make a seal. It kind of freaks people out, like it's going to explode on them. But it won't. Just a hole. Air will come out real fast though. So we'll, if you're not ready for it, you're going to get a, you'll, you'll probably hear it. You'll hear a loud hissing sound. So this, this is just a cement. Put the cement on there. It helps seal it up. Uh, you can't really overdo it. So in fact, I'm going to put a little more on just because no harm, no foul. Like there's, there's a lot of glue relative to the number of patch kits, pat, the number of patches. They give you in the kit. Easy for me to say. And we'll just goop this up pretty good. Better to overdo it than underdo it. Okay, just gonna set this here for a second. And then they use this to kind of ream the hole out, especially if you've got a small nail. But because these plugs are kind of a set thickness here. So if you got a tiny little like finish nail or something in there, then you gotta ream this hole bigger. We'll, I don't know how, because you know how big this nail is. We'll see once we get it out. You stay there. It's, well, it's a long nail, that's for sure. Let me get a different, let's use some cutters to dig underneath that, but let me get a pair of pliers to pull it out the rest of the way.
Ooh, that's a big nail. Kind of ream out the hole a little bit. Where's the... It was at a weird angle. I'm gonna find the angle it goes in. There it is. to get in there so it was a long nail but it wasn't a very thick nail okay dead. I wonder why. So I think maybe my twisting motion is uh, now it's wrapped around the doodad. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. We'll stick that in there to slow that leak down. Stay. You said. Now I really wish I'd worn gloves. So, hooray for live demos. <laughs> so much for this going fast. <laughs> Maybe I should edit it after all. Whew. It's a toasty one today. I am sweaty. this in there all the way. Right, so don't twist it like I was doing. Just wouldn't go in the hole. Still doesn't want to go in the hole. There we go. There. That's what I was hoping for. So when I was twisting it because it wouldn't widen the hole enough. I twisted that stuff around the around the material. 
So then you don't want to get rid of you can leave that when you drive it'll grind it off or you can get a razor blade and cut it down which is what I'll do should have one on hand Okay. Okay, so maybe it took me two tries. That happens. I got in a little bit of a rush because I was trying to do this. Like I purposely wanted to do this in one take just to prove how relatively simple this is. And then I got rushed and, and panicked a bit and couldn't get that needle into the hole and don't twist it. Just, you know, you can twist a little just to ream it in, but you like if it's not going in, Take that reaming uh, handle and bore it out a little more and uh, so it'll go in nice and smooth. It is supposed to be tough to get in, but um, I made it really hard. Also, that nail was in almost at like a 60 degree angle. It was almost sideways in through that tread. So that made it a little harder too. You're not just jamming down on the tire. You're kind of going on this weird angle. But nevertheless, we did get it to work even though it took two tries. That's what I get for trying to get cute and do it all in one take. I, had, I couldn't finish this up before we had to leave. I mentioned we were, we were heading out on a trip. So we were gone pretty much across the country, uh, put about 3,500, 4,000 miles on the Yukon with that tire and had exactly zero pressure drop on that through the whole trip. So it's working great, super happy with it. Uh, this, those are fairly new tires. So that's way cheaper than a new tire. And I've probably still got 20, 30,000 miles, maybe 20,000 miles left in those tires. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to spend two or three hundred dollars on a new tire when I spend 15 bucks on a kit and patch the hole. Now, if you have a nail on the sidewall, don't patch it. I think I said this before, I think um, it's dangerous. It'll, it's more likely to blow out. It's certainly less likely to, to last very long and can cause you problems on the road. No shop will do it. You shouldn't do it either. I don't care what you've seen on the Internet or what other videos you watch about about patching a sidewall. Don't. But if it's in the tread, like this one was, this one was, was right in the middle of the tread. Uh, that's where you can, that's easy. And you can patch that, no problem, and it'll last a long time. Don't be afraid to do it, and don't let anybody scare you off from doing it. So, uh, anyway, as always, I hope that helps you. I hope you learned a little something. Maybe you enjoyed watching me mess this up a little bit. But like I said, even with two tries, it was, what, 15 minutes? And we were done. So, good to go. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hit that like and subscribe and all the things. You know, those are free. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't really hurt you at all. It just helps me and you get more content from me, assuming you like this, of course, and then it's a win-win. But I uh, appreciate you watching this one and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time.